What's up guys, Timmy Gaming here and welcome back to a new video. So today we are here with Strategic Sully. How you doing guys? What's up bro? Nice day? I'm having a great day, glad to be here with you. Awesome. Something new in Clash Royale right now, I think it's pretty exciting. I don't know about you, but let's read this post. So earlier today, they posted on Twitter, Facebook, all the beautiful social medias. Come in with the next update, we're adding the ability to mute your opponent during the, each battle. So I think that is pretty neat feature. So let's read more into this post and then we're going to be doing a few battles. So can you read the first paragraph? Yes, I can, Timmy. All right. A couple of months ago, we told you that we had a plans, had no plans to add an option to mute emotes. Well, we were wrong. We think we were probably evoked enough emotions from you guys, and it's time to reverse our approach. Yeah, I think that's true because I don't know about you, but recently, and all the battles that I've been doing, especially like pushing for trophies, people, if you're losing or if you're winning, people are going to be putting like the sad emoji, like... If we're just gonna be spamming emojis like all the time. So coming with the next update, players will have the ability to mute their opponents during each battle. I think that's pretty nice. Since we still think that it's important that Clash Royale doesn't feel like a single player game, you will see your opponent trying to communicate but without any of the specifics. So any of the specifics, it won't say which emote, but maybe, I don't know, maybe on top of a name is gonna be uh, having like three dots on the top of it, maybe something like that, or maybe just exclamation, exclamation mark. So when we're spamming the emotes, you're just gonna be seeing a small exclamation mark. I think that would be better. What do you think would be the best thing to do, basically? I think I like the dot, dot, dot. I also think it'd be funny if they threw in um, just some symbols, like a hashtag, a dollar sign, you know, explanation yeah. point, those kinds of things. So people would think they're, like, swearing at them, and yeah, it's just, just not like getting through. Stuff, like uh, putting, like, hashtag uh, at the uh, money sign. Uh, yes, all that. Yeah. That would be hilarious. But getting back into the post, strong emotions are built into the core of Clash Royale, and we are important for for knowing the difference between good cards and great cards but we have come to realize that this does not need to be tied to all aspects of the games emotes being a case in point which I agree with her saying there because like Timmy said pushing for trophies if the guy starts spamming emotes you know that might get you out of the zone you might start dropping then you're gonna blame the emotes so that's a part where it wouldn't be good but where it would be good is in a friendly battle like me and Timmy are gonna go into and you can just kinda poke your friends a little bit and you know get them amped up and you know it adds a funnier aspect to just having a battle with them yeah i think having more emotes would be super good for friendly battle for examples but for competitions and for pushing uh, basically a uh, sing single player stuff campaign stuff that would be better having no emotes and for tournaments and just friendly battles having a ton just to put a lighter feel just to have more fun i guess Additionally, we've been thinking about some cool ways of making emotes feel collectible and even desirable. I think this is the best thing, the best feature that they have been come in a while, I think. Which will ideally change some people's perspective of them in the future. Those ideas are still floating around and may come in fruition. But in the meantime, we're going to bring a mute option to the game so that won't come directly but i feel like uh for example achievements there's a ton of uh, achievements in the game like i know you've done a ton of tournaments like 50 or something like that which i think it's pretty cool but so for example uh, you could have a specific uh emote in the game so once you read that achievement for example making 50 tournaments you could have a specific emote so not a lot of people are going to be having that or reaching uh, like 3,000 trophies 4,000 trophies I think that could be really really awesome I totally agree with everything you're saying the only thing that I hope Supercell does not do and that is make emotes available for by gems so I feel like if they make us pay for emotes they're probably gonna get some uh bad words thrown their way because it's just ridiculous how much you can spend in this game already yeah, yeah, of course, it's it's basically like almost unlimited. So, of course, free-to-play players are going to have some more trouble because it fits based on the achievements, basically hosting more tournaments or reaching 4,000 trophies. All of those are going to be taking new emotes, but also it can be hard to reach those if you're free-to-play. So if you're going to be spending, of course, it's going to be a lot easier to reach those. Yes, yes, of course. Uh, the free-to-play players always have a tougher time, but, you yeah. know, you do get to say, I'm that good and I haven't spent any money. That I yeah, can't true. say about myself. I do have some skill, I would say, you know, but <laughs> I have spent a boatload of money on my account. 
But with that all being said, me and Timmy are going to get into some trolling type battles with you guys. Oh, so yes. we're both going to feature our decks right now for whichever aspect you're watching this. Right. And we're going to get into a fun one with you guys. Okay, so I'm going to be using this deck over here. So my third deck over here. And my second is going to be on the second battle. So the first battle will be on this channel right now. And if you want to check Strategic Soli's point of view, be sure to check it out. First battle on my channel with this deck. And the second battle I'm going to be using this deck. So a bit of a more funny run. Never really used it. So that's going to be pretty interesting to know. So let's do that. So I'm going to be using the first deck. So I'm going to be creating a beautiful battle over here. <laughs> All right, let's this see what Arena he throws us. Interesting. Okay, he throws us in Royal. Haven't been in here in a while. But uh, I, I like the grass. He's throwing me the emotes already, so let's definitely get My into it. Short grass. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> Good like, luck I to like you, sir. I like it. Right. You won't be smiling soon. You won't be smiling. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, oh, I like oh, the oh, mini oh, peck oh. on your side. Oh, oh, how dirty! <laughs> Zaps the fire spirits. Timmy. halfway on the right side. Being a bit cheap over here, putting a bunch of smile on the screen, just taunting you. That was pretty dirty, the, the, the zap on the fire spirits. Like, for example, this is something that I would like to mute. Okay. I'm being kind of a douchebag player right now. You can see just spamming emotes when I'm winning. Haha. <laughs> I think that is pretty annoying. Of course, this is a friendly battle, so I think they should keep it. But for example, when you're going on a trophy pushing, I think the best would be to not have that. You know, I would say the laughing isn't the worst. I would say that when you get the 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 thanks after you lost i'd say that's the worst my tower is down in the dirt already what is timmy doing to me this is filthy Something over here <laughs> spamming me hard i think it's getting to me people i'm gonna i'm gonna have to build up here is when somebody does and when uh, is when i say good luck and after the other person doesn't say good luck i just say good luck and they say oh thanks I oh yeah oh, oh thanks is always good freaking mini packer doing work to my sparky i'm sure the minion horde is coming out oh no the giant skeleton good something even more valuable for you to just destroy my push with Yes, but that is good because it took out all of your buildings at the same time. Something to not do, maybe put your elixir pump and the building at the same time. Okay, elixir pump. Okay, at least the elixir pump went away and now I can drop another one. Hopefully I can take... No, no, I should have waited a bit. Come no on, Fire Spirits. Yes! Yes, 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 yes. Here is the... Oh, no. The giant skeleton's coming down. I already know it. Right in my face. Where is it? Boom. If only, if only. This is just because I already know I'm gonna lose this match because it's so ridiculous. I'd love it if Sparky could get a shot off, but of course, why would it? Absolutely ridiculous. Timmy beats me one to nothing. That was a crazy match. I totally got my butt whooped. But if you guys want to see more of a battle we had together, go check out the link down in his description below and it'll take you to the battle we had on my channel. Yeah, hey guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to hit that like button because that is always appreciated. So be sure to check out Strategic Sully's channel. The link is going to be in the description below. So be sure to like comment and subscribe for more awesome videos and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace!